Well guys, it's 10 past 7 and I've just driven through the night through to Athens to get the ferry to a little island where they have an engine for me. So uh, yeah, I uh, should have enough time to be able to get the engine and then get back on the next ferry back. Uh, so yeah, so here we are. Ferry's just arrived. I've contacted uh, the guy that's got the engine. We're going to do a little bit of a boat trip before we go and have a look at the engine. So it's good. All good. What a pretty place, eh? Okay, new engine. Nice and clean. Looks good. Just heard it running. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Morning guys. 5 a.m. It's 26 degrees. Uh, I stayed over last night in Athens uh, just to really give me a rest uh, before the trip back. So I have now got an engine in my boot. And I'm heading back to Nidri. Okay, this is the new engine. Got it out of the car. So I need to prep this ready for lifting in the boat. It's on the hoist already. And I've tied off to one of the strouds just to keep the boom out. So when I lift it, it's not going to scrape down the side of the hull. So uh, this mount I don't need. So that's off. Um, this mount I don't need because the other mount is actually on and what I need to do is take these three bolts off here so that that is off. Um, this I can't get off here so I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to put this piece on and bolt it in when it gets up there. And then this one, again I can't get it off. This mount is on the boat, so I'm thinking of just getting an angle grinder to it and just grinding that off. Um, it's probably going to be the quickest and easiest way of doing it, I think. There's a bolt missing here, which is this one. So I'm going to take that off there and put that on, sort that out. Um, looking at what else... So this here, I've got that upstairs, that's that's fine. So I've got no problems with that. Um, in fact, this is in better condition. So, yeah. And then I've got to wire the wiring loom. I put this on last night. So this is where the wiring loom goes. 
and I've got to basically attach all this lot back to the alternator and the starter motor. Uh, starter motor, this one. So um, I'm going to get to Googling on that and see what we can do. Right, that's as prepped as I can get it. I've got this bolt off here. The uh, outs are ready to go. So, yeah, just got one bolt to do. I've taken the wiring loom off for now because I haven't worked out where all this lot goes, so that's going to have to happen when she's in the boat. So, yeah, we're ready to go. It's taken most of the day, but it's in. It's not buttoned in properly yet, obviously, but it's fastened in. And then the prop shaft is attached. The mounting brackets are attached and the cables are attached. So it's just a matter of finishing plumbing it in now. And, uh, yeah. Not looking too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So I'm quite pleased with that. So we'll, we'll keep going. And uh, yeah, we'll have a running engine soon. Morning everyone. Well, it's a cleaning day today, I think. Um, I've got a friend coming over to help me just commission the engine today. Uh, the wiring loom is uh, defeating me a little bit. Uh, so I thought what I'd do while I'm waiting for him it's just get all the tools put away, get everything where it's supposed to be, give her another pressure wash on the deck, and then uh, tidy up inside. And just, uh, yeah, get it back into some form of order before uh, the next round of chaos, as it were. It's going to be another hot one today, guys. So, yeah, uh, up in the uh, high 30s again today. So, uh, yesterday... I changed two hull fittings, that's it. But I'll show you what I've done. So this is a little cupboard under the sink. And I've uh, fitted this one. I'm gonna change this pipe, obviously, and change the Jubilee clip at the same time, but I haven't got them yet, so. So that's one, and then the other one is in the engine room. And again, same thing, I'm gonna fasten this uh, insulation back. And then I've, fastened, I've put this True design in there so that uh, yeah, that works. So the engine is almost ready to run. So I've got the raw water feeds all connected up. Uh, this is the fresh water feed, um, and the bottle that's on here has got two connectors on it, but this one's been blocked off deliberately because it only needs one. 
So, um, yeah, I need to work out a way of fastening that. I'm probably, probably going to use these um, cable clips. Sort of clip it to the side there. Uh, and then I've just got the fuel to connect and I've got the exhaust to connect. So the exhaust is the next thing. Um, and then I'm going to carry on with through holes, I think, um, while I build the energy to sort out the fuel system. So, yeah, it's uh, sort of, sort of in and ready to run. That's this side, there's one. And the other one is back here. This is the raw water feed, so I've got a cap to put over that to grill. And then that's done. Well, it's done with so the back of this exhaust elbow here is corroded away. Well, it's not corroded away, it's, it's corroded as a build-up on there at the back, which is going to make it difficult to put the holes on it. Now, I can grind it away with a Dremel, and I know we should be okay. But It's the moment of truth. As we saw yesterday, the engine was running, but uh, it was running on the fuel filter fuel, uh, which obviously ran out. Um, I've taken the fuel separator off, and this pipe has basically twisted off and snapped, which is fine because the actual pipe itself is blocked, which is the reason why there's no fuel coming through. Uh, which is actually a good thing because that means that none of the crap from the tank has got into the engine. Uh, but it does mean I've now got to try and work out what to do about that. And I think it's going to be coming in here and the tank is there. So I've got to basically pull the pipes for a start off because those, those weren't replacing. And then after I've done that... Uh, I'm going to have to try and work out how to clean the tank. So, good fun. All good fun. <sighs> Running. With fuel. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good news. The engine is in and running. And I've put all of this back cabin back together. Oh, so it now needs a good clean. But the engine is now fastened away. 
So I've got to lift this and change the stone gland before we launch, but we are getting closer. So I think what I'm going to do now is clean out this room and then I can use this for putting the cells in and what have you. That means I've got a four peak. So, yeah. Next plan. So, it's uh, 10 to 7 on a Monday morning, and I haven't filmed for a couple of days, because I've just been cracking on, so I thought I'd just uh, give you an update in terms of where we've got to. As you can see, the hole is pretty much sanded. Um, I've got one or two little spots just left to do. I've also completely stripped the keel and I've treated that with this um, rust converter which is why it's all gone black uh, so that's looking looking good um, I'm give it another treatment I think because it's going to rust again before I can get some epoxy on there so I'll give it another treatment and get some epoxy on it um, the prop is off um, and the reason for that is that we've got this three-bladed prop here which came with the engine and we'll put that on instead but they've re-threaded this so I need to go and get some uh, some nuts and a, and a captive uh, washer um, you can see here how far I've got in terms of taking the prop shaft out. It's proving a real pain in the neck um, to remove the prop shaft. And uh, I'll show you what I've been doing inside shortly on that. So this is the old engine. And I'm uh, in the middle of taking it to bits so that I can keep a lot of the spares. And then over here, We've got the main sail, but also in one of the lockers I found this Kevlar sail. Now, they're not meant to be folded, but it was folded up in the locker, and I think it's damaged it. So I'm going to get those over to a sail maker and see if anything can be done, and just get the main sail checked out. I've got to get the um, Genos out from the locker and get those checked out as well, but... Uh, that's not looking too bad. <coughs> Excuse me. I've also fixed the stays on the other side. So now uh, the guardrail looks all right. Uh, again, you can see where I've finished sanding. So I've got a little bit more sanding to do on this side. Just to get her ready for paint. Um, you can see here where I've done the seals. The, the through hole fittings. So uh, this one is a true design. And then for the smaller ones, I've gone with the brass because I couldn't get a true design. I've got one more fitting to do, which is this one. This one is capped off. So as long as there's no pink on the bronze, I should be okay with that. So I haven't checked the rudder yet. I'm a bit concerned about this gap here. This, this is a, a seal of some description, so I just want to get that checked out. Um, and, yeah. Engine's running sweet. So, uh, today's job is to finish getting the prop shaft out. Now, once I've done that, finish some of the sanding, and then we're ready for paint, I think. It should be good. Get the get the uh, epoxy on. Um, before I can do that, I want to just basically cut and polish top sides above the waterline. So, yeah, 
a lot of work, but she's coming together really nicely. Really nicely. Um, quite impressed so far.